But there's three more bombs waiting to be dropped, and these are the ones in my eyes. Julio Jones, of course. What is your prediction where he goes, and what's kind of your best and worst case scenario for him in fantasy? I think he's playing for the Falcons, man. I think they figure out this salary cap without trading one of the freaking 10 best wide receivers yeah. alive. And it might very well be higher than that. I mean, it's weird with Julio, man. He's the only like high usage receiver really over the past five, six, seven years for PFF that we've had average at least three yards per out run in a season. He's not doing that anymore, but he's still like a top five receiver in yards per out run. Like he's just that good. Even Julio, even the B plus version of Julio is still, yeah. you know, among the league's very best wide receivers. So I just don't, it's never made sense to me why they need to get rid of him. Like if they wanted to rebuild, they could have drafted a quarterback. They could have found yeah. a way to maybe trade Matt Ryan. Like what does trading Julio Jones do, particularly if, it's taken this long. It's not like Julio Jones went on undisputed and just demanded a trade and the Falcons have had, you know, a week to do this. They said that they've been trying to find a trade partner for months. And Julio Jones announcing that everyone this is going on didn't exactly help. It. I don't think that really helped that, them accomplish that task. And he can talk about not wanting to go to the Cowboys and all that. Like, bro, you don't have a no trade clause. And you look at the last, you know, alpha wide receivers that have been, uh, you know, traded. We had Antonio Brown, the Bills, for about six hours. We had Stephon Dixon the bills we had odo beckham to the browns hopkins got to go to the cardinals you know bill o'brien doing his thing uh but like okay cleveland and buffalo i know they look pretty appealing right now but you know you kind of fast you go, you go backwards to when they got traded and i don't think either of those receivers were probably too happy about that uh destination so yes do the falcons owe it to julio to probably try to trade him somewhere he wants to go you think so but more and more man i just like it doesn't make sense for them to even trade him so i think he stays in atlanta if he does go I think best case for his just overall value, like the Bills, just him and Diggs would tear things up. This is already an offense that has shown like they don't care about running the ball. So we could see him, you know, basically just him and Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen would just be like a better version of what they already had in Atlanta between him, Ryan, and Calvin Ridley. The worst, like, probably the Broncos or something, man, like just erratic QB play with like an already pretty loaded wide receiver room that might not afford him as many targets as he needs. Uh, and fantasy land, you know, it's kind of similar, but best like it's hard. It's hard to deny green Bay would be pretty awesome. Like just oh, see yeah. a, see a MVS Aaron Rodgers is happy. Now he's going to find a way to get Julio, you know, 120 plus targets. And it's probably going to be uh, towards the highest efficiency of his career. And then worse, like maybe new England, man, but it's, yeah. it's, it's so weird to say Julio Jones would be, you know, worse or bad in anywhere because he wouldn't be he would make all 32 teams better and that's what kind of annoyed me throughout some of this uh process like we got rap sheets saying you know falcons want to get rid of julio jones a terrible contract no a terrible contract is for a not good football player like just because yeah. they're paying julio jones a lot of money doesn't make it a terrible contract he when you're that good when you're julio jones level good you should be getting uh paid that sort of money so don't love uh you know some of the statements that would come out of this but you know like somewhere like new england probably wouldn't be very great for his fantasy stock just because you you know, we got the tight ends there now. It seems like Cam has a shot to, you know, continue to start. I don't know. I think Matt Jones is under there sooner rather than later. But even New England, like, I, I don't think anywhere in the league would we be dropping Julio more than, like, you know, outside the top 16 or 18 wide receivers, which is a testament to how damn good the guy is. It's true. The guy's an absolute stud, legend. He's been doing it forever and should have at least a couple left in him. I do agree with you. New England was my worst case, which is kind of surprising that it's like, that's where he wants to go. He wants to play with Cam Newton is one of the rumblings. I don't know that I buy that. I certainly don't want him to go to the Titans, even though they're like the favorite right now to go there. Only because of selfishly just have a lot of A.J. Brown in early drafts. Yeah. And I just want to see this guy finally get his. You and me both. You and me both. Times. Yeah, I know, I know you're leading that train too. No doubt. So selfishly, fantasy wise, I don't want to see him go there either. But, yeah, he's, he's going to do fine wherever he lands. I do think New England would be one of the, the worst case. But even then, if Mac Jones takes over, and, and all the reports are he's been slinging it early in camp so far. Uh, or not camp, but whatever, the OTAs. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I'm with you. There's really not a bad case when you got a talent yeah. like Julio Jones. <laughs> that idea with the Packers, though, <laughs> Aaron Rodgers with Adams and Julio, holy shit, that would be. Bro, we've been asking for it. We've been asked for it for so long. And like Packers fans take so much offense to when people like say that Aaron Rodgers hasn't gotten enough help. Like, look at all the top offenses we've had and stuff. Like, come on, though. They literally yeah. haven't drafted another first round skill position player other than Jordan Love since Rodgers. Like, I know 
Jordy Nelson, Devontae Adams, and all these guys that weren't first round picks were still awesome. But that doesn't mean you couldn't have added like more awesome players. We understand that Aaron yeah. Rodgers has made this team incredible ever since he's, you know, been their starting quarterback. But man, oh man, like we've seen some of the heights that he can reach with this roster. Like it's okay to give him more help. Like as yeah. we're seeing with like Russell Wilson and stuff, man, like you can't have enough great receivers sometimes. And that's one of the rumors, too, actually, is that Seattle's in the talks with yeah. them, too. Imagine that one, DK, Lockett, <laughs> and, and Julio. Maybe a mess for fantasy. And I was about a, to say, not great for fantasy, but. Not great for fantasy. Real life-wise, other than Russell Wilson, who would just go completely bonkers. <laughs> yeah. And you got to imagine they abandoned this whole, we have to establish the run. That's the thing. Wasn't right. It? They, they probably wouldn't. Right. You'd have those three receivers, <laughs> and they'd run it 45 times a game still. Like, disgusting. Chris we Carson, 400 touches and just <laughs> dominating every game. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos and join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below. Ooh.